Groen naar Albany. Hello and welcome to the New York State Capitol. We're just starting a tour. Our guide is explaining some of the uh, history and background of the construction. We are actually constructing additional floors in this building, right above this Some of the detail. We've gone up a few floors. Now this Capitol building cost $25 million back in the 1800s to build. It's the equivalent of $800 million today, which is twice what the U.S. Capitol building cost. Now the stone carving work was done in place. It wasn't done off site and brought in. That's the 150 year old elevator we just took. The ceiling above, hand carved oak, copper ceiling. I'll talk about what that means in just a few minutes. All of the furniture that you see in the room is a Caribbean mahogany, and all of the leather is a red Spanish leather. I guess I can't avoid talking about the walls a bit, huh? Okay, we're in the Senate chamber, and our yeah, guide is explaining how very costly yeah. materials came from all over the world. Now you see what the building cost is twenty five million dollars? That's gold leaf. But you are taking a tour of our capital. Let me tell you what actually happens here in the room. Does everybody see the nice big tall chair on the left hand side of the room? That is where the president of the Senate sits. The president of the Senate also happens to be our lieutenant. The acoustics are so are no good in this room in that uh, if senators want to have a private conversation, so never one of they have to go into the fireplace so, to do the that. The fireplace, fireplace is non-functional. This is called the million dollar staircase. It actually cost 1.5 million. And by the way, most of the stone carvers were from the United Kingdom. This is the assembly chamber. 
That's kind of like our House of Representatives in New York. No, just as the Senate could be called the upper house, you can call this the lower house. But again, not really true. Who's better to design such a large room than the guy who likes building cathedrals, right? But yet there's one thing in the room that doesn't seem quite very cathedrally. Can anybody see what? In 1911, there was a major fire in the building. And this room was soaked with water before the fire reached the chamber. The ceiling was apparently paper mache, and when it got wet, of course, it came crashing down and soaked the entire chamber, and it actually saved the building. So that leaf detail on the ceiling and the beams is supposedly paper mache even now. Seventy-seven of these faces carved in the stonework. There's Abe Lincoln. Okay, we finally found a Christmas tree, and this is where I'm going to end part one. There's much more to come. Bye-bye.